So this is a this is tied to times deck list. Uh, he showed me it the other day. He made it and uh, surprisingly good. I played it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know the name of that. It's called Troll Priest, but. Shall bring victory. I want Blade Master the most. Other than that, Acolyte would be nice against Warrior, and Emperor is actually pretty nice. Although it's hard to combo down Warrior, even with Emperor, so I'm gonna drop it. I'm I'm trying to win with uh, Resurrect and Blade Master. I want that to be my early game. So I got Blade Master, the most important card in this deck. With two is Resurrections, there's so much you can do with the Blade Master. Okay, double Blade Master. Now I just need a Circle or a Resurrection. Mind if I roll need? I'm probably gonna play Blade Master, Coin, Lila Naru next turn. It would die to Execute still as a 4-6, but at least it doesn't die to Fire War or Death Spite. And then the Light of Naru can contest the this guy as well. It depends. I also have some power moves, but I don't... I can't like power coin this turn. That's just way too bad. The Light Bomb is decent. I'm assuming this is Patron Warrior, so... Holy Nova, I, I don't know. Let's see, Holy Nova plus Cleric doesn't clear Patrons, because it doesn't do the 3 damage in, in one in one shot. I kinda need to force out the charge here. I'm gonna probably play the Pyromancer as well. It's pretty important to heal Blade Master like full, like 4 7, but if I next turn Blade Master heal, it'll still die to execute. I'm actually getting a decent amount of damage in. Pretty lucky if he doesn't kill it. Oh, that's really important for me. Is someone injured? Gonna save these combos. Like, Power Chill gets me two life, but I take two damage between my two guys. I don't really think it's worth it, the Power Shield. Worst case, I can Power Shield the Blame Master next turn. Um, to cycle it. If I knew I was gonna draw like a circle, I probably would, but it's only one draw. Okay, so leaving this up as like for patron, like it's a oh, it's a liability, but it is good for me. Like I can draw some more cards here. Yeah, so this is gonna die to the death but That's not that good. Let me draw some cards. Oh, circle. I do have all kind of circle. This is big. Uh, actually, it cycles, huh? That's a big thing. I have light bomb. Because he can just attack this and execute still. Force out that. Actually, yeah, let's, let's play it slow. I don't, I don't, I think it's too important for me to have the circle with Akunai. I Like, against Patron Warrior, light bomb is good, but having more, like, double board clear is really good as well. The big thing is it doesn't actually save it, because he has the death sweat for Roland, he can just attack this and execute anyways. Right now I'm scared of execute. The big thing is it cycles, though, it's like, I'm not really using a card. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, looks like he's not attacking, wow. Oh my god. Can I Ruckerino him? Oh. Well played. I need the card draw. I give him one more card, but I draw three. Right away. Or two. Actually, this is even better. I can save the circle. Your turn. 
Although technically, um, I don't draw three this way. I only draw two. Circle or drawn three. But then I would still need to attack that. I wish I could just like draw him a little bit more cards to mill him. The Pyro was what I wanted. Pyro would have wrecked him. That would have been able to draw me tons of cards. I mean, can't complain. I got Blind Master. It's pretty good. Pyro is where I could overdraw him and draw myself a lot of cards too. I had a Pyro. What died? I had a Blade Master died. A Pyro and a lot of the Naru guy. I wasn't keeping track of the other ones. Okay, so he played this. Probably doesn't have good combo answers or something. It's pretty good for me. This is like not what you would do if you had a good move. That's pretty scary. I mean, I can kill if I can kill it. It's not that bad. Oh, overdrew. I think. <laughs> okay. I don't think Cleric is that good. It's kind of good because it stops him from from playing Armor Smith, especially because I don't have any Cabals in this deck or Shadow Madnesses. I can get Stormed early, but it's kind of weak. One thing is, like, I guess I don't want to fill up like dead minions Resurrection. Like, I want to have a good minion as my first minion. If that kind of makes sense, like it kind of dies to weapon, but it stops. Backlight some, somewhat. Still got a weapon if I powered shield it. I'm gonna try to get a fir like my first main as something nice. Anything with more than three, I think. Alkanai or Blade Master. Backlight would be okay as well. You can AoE for two or something. Let's just keep healing. At this point, I have so many spells. I'm just gonna save my Pyromancer to AoE down everything. It's not the greatest with um, Acolyte, but. Maybe I can start with like smiting it so he controls a little bit. Or he can just damage himself and whatever at that point. Just two more cards. I'll probably be a uh, power man during this turn. If I draw two cards, he won't. If I draw three cards with that, he'll actually lose cards. I don't think that's possible though. If I buff this one, so I cast three spells, buff it to four, it'll die itself. So it's not worth it. I could power shield it like a. Uh, Power Master Powered Shield that, Powered Shield my guy to four, cast three, oh it still survives. It casts three spells, it goes to three, four. I'm gonna try it. Do you like to play with fire? Should I leave it up? No, let's kill it. Probably wasn't that good actually. Because I don't get to clear the board, so the armor smith. Like if I could clear the board, then like he would have to not trade. That's a good one. I do have a couple of options. Um, I guess I'd go for more cards here. But then it'll mess up my resurrect. Actually, in this matchup, it's probably better for me to resurrect the Acolyte anyways. No, it's not better, but it's okay. Because I need cards really badly. I'm a combo deck, so... That's why I'm not running... That's why this deck's not running Thought Seal. You'd rather just draw from your own deck. It's only 50-50 that I res the Blade Master after it dies. If we have Pyromancer, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna save the Resurrections after this guy dies. Uh, I have a couple of options. If it trades like this, if I get the Pyromancer actually kills 
kills this 5-4, five, 5-1. Five, five, I have two chances, double resurrect. In fact, if I get like Pyromancer and Acolyte, I can combo from there maybe. Well, the point of this deck is a villain cheese deck. That's what this deck is. Once I get circle here. Okay, so I have a small chance. Let's play this first. Oh, perfect. That was some sick luck. One third for that. Oh, Nefarian. Two priest cards. It's actually pretty annoying, I can't kill it. I'll probably use a resurrection here. Let me play this first. I'm not sure I just play the Blade Master or not, because I kinda need to fight this with minion damage, that's so weird, huh? Am I really gonna have to kill his hmm. Nefarian with minion damage as priest? I don't I don't know if I have a choice. Actually, uh, I have a better idea. It's unfortunate, but it's like he has too much armor for him to burst down. I think this is just a really bad matchup. Cause where is too much armor for you to like my win condition is like double like the cheese combo. At least he's giving me a lot of cards here. If I draw draw chromatic, I can draw a lot of cards, but then it, it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna Holy Nova here. I'll draw one card with Holy Nova. I can do this and Holy Nova. So it costs three. What do I need to get? I need to draw the second death. I'm um, off by one damage of killing it. I can attack like this, Light of the Nar. I can Light of the Naru this Pyromancer to get another card, then trade this in. Tra I don't know. I assume I'm dead if I leave this up. I need a death. That didn't work out. <laughs> I really want Cleric against Hunter, it's like the most important card. But then Bloodmaster with Resurrect is really good. Definitely keeping Pyromancer. Pyromancer is the really best card, I guess, other than Cleric. I think I can just keep this. I could have killed that one with my 1-1. One, one. I missed, I missed, I roped out that thing. I'll probably, hmm. Actually, I should save the coin. Just draw as many cards as possible. Right away. I was thinking I coined this out, circle, but I only draw one card like that. Next turn I can play this combo together, so Blade Master plus Cleric in circle. Um, if that's explosive, I can drop this first.
you in the face? Oh my god, it's like giving up. Uh... Alright, so I guess my... I mean, I have so many cards anyways. I don't think it's anything about the draw here. But uh, probably play Holy Nova. Holy Nova, I'll discard a couple cards, which is fine, doesn't matter. I should attack first before Holy Nova on this guy. This will be a 3-4-3-3, three, 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 so... Right Do I have another circle? I don't think I have another circle. I don't want to lose my guy. Okay, wait, wait. So this plus uh, Light of the Nar in myself plus Smite Coin Heal, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, light of the Nar in myself. In the light's name. Coin, Smite, Attack this, Heal. I mean, okay, so matchups that it's more about value, like against control decks, you care about milling yourself more. Because once you, like, mill cards against controller, you lose the fatigue. Against face hunter, that's literally, like, the least thing. Like, that's, like, the stupidest thing to worry about, milling yourself against face hunter. It literally doesn't matter. He's already used both in the leashes. There's not much you can do at this point. Um, as long as I don't play Alkanai or Light Bomb, I should win. So let's start by killing his board. Face the light. In case it's Pyro. I'm just gonna heal myself every turn. It's like, most important resource for me is life right now. I still have one more light of the Naru, but other than that- oh, Velen. Oh, I have Velen and Alex draw, so Chromagus is useless, because if I draw into any healing, I'll, I will don't need two of it, with one I'll win for sure. And my source of healing is basically Velen, which heals for two more extra, and Light of Naru, which heals for three more extra. There's no more unleashes to worry about. I don't know, I don't think I can lose this game. I actually have lethal next turn. I didn't really calculate it, but that's 11. I actually have uh, Aka Knife for two more if I really need to. Put this apple on your head. Right away. Your turn to bleed. So, Mulligan for Pyromancer and Cleric. And I think always for Blade Master in this deck. That's what Tides when he made this deck, so he said you should always keep Blade Master in this deck because of the additional synergy with Resurrection. Although against Hunter, it's kind of weird because you don't have time to like do that stuff sometimes, but it's perfect. Well, I mean, I have two kind of dead cards, but I have North Shard and I have Pyromancer with Coin, so. I actually beat some handlocks to so like Velen combos, um, Velen double mind blast with Emperor and stuff. Smite, you can do 24 damage. Uh, against, I think Controller has to be the worst matchup. I beat Druids too just by going for Blade Master and Resurrection. They can't deal with the 4 7. So mid range Hunter because of Web Spinner. Death is going to be pretty good, Light Bomb, I guess, in this matchup, since he's running Dr. Boom and High Mains, probably. No, I'm not talking Tides, I'm talking Tides of Time. Wonder. I wouldn't play some StarCraft 2 on a weekend stream, I don't think so. I'd rather just stream Hearthstone if I was going to do that. This 
attack. Right Snake Trap, I don't want to proc. If it's freezing, then... I have some choices here. I don't really want to blow my coin, but I think I have to. At least it's so I get this down before the bow. If I left the trap up, then it's like the same thing. Except he gets one more bow charge. Quick shot is much better than me than a trap. Oh, I have this. But no, no resurrection hat or shield. I think this is right because Shredder is the most likely drop next turn. I also get to clear this for Houndmaster like this, and the th this can actually contest the Shredder. If I just played Cleric, I'm way too weak to Houndmaster. And Shredder, it, it's like, it's not that good. I get to kill Westfair, but then it doesn't kill the Shredder. Just on the Houndmaster alone, it's too important, I think. Okay, so if I get one more spell, maybe? Oh, that's actually interesting. I can Mind Blast in Light of the Naru. What would I Light of the Naru to get a minion? Target is damaged. There's no way I can get a minion. Not even if I hit him and Light of the Naru him. It's kind of a hard decision, actually, because if I just flood the board, like, say, Blade Master Light of the Naru, um, Knife Juggler and Leash can clear, kind of, and I can't clear the Juggler after. I think I'm gonna Mind Blast. Oh, wait. I can lie the Naru. Yeah, if I let Naru the Pyromancer, it'd be a 3 3, but I wouldn't have this guy. Actually, I think this guy is still better to, to do it like that. It's too important for me to keep this alive because I can clear high main with shower death plus smite. I value it over the, the other guy. Second guy, he's getting so low. Interesting. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh wait, wait if I resurrect my guy, will, my cleric will die. If I just holy nova, I'll deal three damage here. I can't clear, unfortunately. I think I should save holy nova and just flood. I forgot what died. I think that's right. These guys aren't so weak to knife juggler and leash, anyways. Because um, they have like 5 and 3 and 3 and then it just doesn't seem right like I can stagger the AoE on his next turn I don't want to like do some kind of weird draw move where I leave it like a 6-1 high main What is that gonna be? Okay, so this move effectively means that my pyromancer is gonna die if I AoE, um, that's, I can trade these two in here, and then this one in here, Holy Nova. Maybe I can just heal this. I need to decide kind of quickly. Does that circle help anything? Draw two cards. Actually, no, I don't, I don't want to. Okay, so Holy Nova here. Depends what I want to do here. I think this is better. I have a 4-7 anyways, so it's either leaving 2-1-1s or a 4-1. I think leaving up 2-1-1s uh, is better for me than leaving up a 4-1. Since I have a circle anyway, so I can afford to take extra damage on the Blade Master. Put this apple on your head. That belongs in a museum. This should be a light bomb turn here.
<laughs> if I knew I was going to get that, I would resurrect first before the light bomb, but most of my minions would die, I think so. <laughs> just, uh, just a heads up, I don't consider myself a priest expert. So if my moves look weird, it might be because they are. It's kind of cool though, like, from what I've seen, even though, even if you don't have the combo cards, I think priests are making a lot of, like, if priests keep developing better and better deck lists, I actually think, like, almost every priest is gonna run Emperor. I've just had so many good Emperor turns as priests, just because, like, I don't know, it's like, priest is really combo, even, yeah, yeah, so even the non velens priests are kind of combo right? Because you can combo Cabal Shadow Priest with Shrinkmeisters, like, easier. All, like, all priests are sort of combo-based. So I think Emperor is really good in priests. I think people need to start adding that in priests, even, like, normal ones. But it's a cool deck. I didn't really showcase it. I didn't really get... Because, like, the matchups I played were so one-sided, I guess. <laughs> um, I either got crushed or crushed them. I didn't really get to, like, the some slower matchups with Emperor, Velens, and saving Mind Blast. Like, against Hunter, that's not what you're going for, obviously. You don't care at all. You can just Mind Blast to proc Power Master, but... Alright, I'm done for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Till back tomorrow. Have a good one.